A lot of interest in this one. Unbeaten Mike Pierce, who is in the ring for fight number seven. He's never had to go the distance. He's on the left, fighting out of the blue corner, ETK corner. He's uh, six foot six tall, giving away uh, uh, or his opponent, Delray Robardi, is given away an awful lot of height and reach. A professional MMA fighter. He's only had the one kickboxing fight. In that, he upset and stopped Ants Nansen, who was King of the Ring champion. So, uh, you know, he is a giant killer. But can he uh, really cause a big boil over here against Mike Pierce, one of the uh, most impressive fighters I've seen uh, in New Zealand for a long, long time. Here comes the knees from Pierce. He's very proficient in uh, all facets of the fight game. Either hand, kicks, knees. And uh, Robardi giving away that uh, reach. It's going to be difficult for him to get on the inside. But uh, uh, notice the composure of Robardi. He gets in there, but immediately Pierce ties up, and this is where he uh, wears down a lot of his opponents because he's got the got the uh, leverage. And oh, Robardi doing a Mark Hunt and uh, just says, "Give me your best shot." And Pierce obliges. Luckily for Robardi, the hands were up when the big kick came in. Pierce been off the scene for uh, a wee while. Uh, him and his wife just had a uh, little baby boy. And it's great to see him back out there in our Robardi. His defensive work is excellent. And he's got a big support crowd here fighting out of the uh, Phantom Kickboxing Gym. And his supporters right behind him as he pins Pierce in the corner. So we get towards the end of round number one. And so far, he's been able to withstand the storm. A lot of men haven't been able to do that. <laughs> Business manager, Mike Pierce. Back over now. John Rebel Conway was going from corner to corner. In between the rounds, I couldn't pick up what he was uh, trying to say or what they were talking about, but uh, here that goes the knees. Now, he's ended plenty of fights with the knees so far. He's also ended with a lot of leg kicks. And Robardi is probably putting up as good a show as any I have seen against um, Pierce. But I know that he will keep on going. He, he uh, beat the Australian champion the, in December, did Pierce. And finally, it is a knockdown. Uh, just the weight of numbers going in there. Uh, Robarty. Although he stood up to the pressure, he hasn't threatened Pierce with anything that he's managed to get into close enough to throw. And, and this is what uh, is so good about Pierce is that he, uh, he dishes out so much punishment that it's very hard for a fighter to uh, come back. The furthest he's had to go was in Australia against Ray um, Demachi, he, who uh, had three titles. And uh, he got through to as far as the third round. There goes those leg kicks that have been so devastating against previous opponents. Uh, uh, you've got to admire the toughness of uh, Robardi. But, you know, when you take that much punishment, it's very hard to have the strength left to, to inflict any damage of your own. And he's forced back into the corner. And once again, the count goes on. And you can see the fatigue is really setting in. 
Robardi shows that toughness that has got him through 18 MMA fights in the past. He is a professional MMA fighter, as I said earlier on. And uh, he's really had to show his toughness here so far tonight. Delray Robardi is a 27-year-old mechanical support engineer. And, uh, yeah, he comes out on the toes for round number three, something that only one previous man has ever been able to do. Can he see it last the distance? Can he find something that is going to turn the tables? He needs to, uh, to find the big punch or the big kick or the big knee in this round. Oh, he's under the pump again. Fast hook there, but Pierce, using that six foot six frame of his, just stays on the outside and lands another crashing kick and back to the knees. And uh, this is the thing, he can do this all night. Now, two knockdowns in the previous round with the knees, and he goes for them again. And uh, yeah, Robardi has uh, just got to take the punishment. He is dead on his feet. And a little bit of blood there on the forehead as well. Oh, that's, that's a killer blow. That big kick to the outside of the thigh. There's only so much a man can take. And, uh, yeah, he keeps winding it in. For uh, Delray's sake, I'd love to see him last the distance. As much as I'd like to see... Uh, Mike Pierce keep that record of uh, nobody lasting the distance with him and the count goes on once again and once again he puts the hand out from the grave. He's been dead and buried on three or four occasions already. Can he last? I think he's got the respect of Mike Pierce. I'm sure he has. Mike Pierce, one of the nicest guys on the outside of the ring that you're ever going to meet. And no, he does not. Oh, well, that was a shame that Rebel stopped that because it was only a few seconds before the bell. And uh, I think Del Rey was a little bit disappointed with that. But uh, you're looking at a future champion, one that, that could uh, really have New Zealand's name flying high. And look, that's what I was saying. He really does. Del Rey, Robardi, uh, yeah, he would have... He, a few seconds so um, probably Rebel would be wishing he hadn't stopped it when he realised how close the bell was but uh, Mike Pierce remains undefeated he uh, remains uh, the fact that nobody's gone the distance with him as yet and I think he'll be rocking this one up for wife Amy and his little boy Israel well done oh. Mark that name in your book. <laughs>